Hi everyone, welcome back to Electronics Geek. I am Ajay. So today again we have two opportunities. One is for the embedded engineers and second one is for the VLSI engineers. So if you are looking for a career particularly in these two domain, then this opportunity is for you guys. So do not skip the video. And if you are new to our channel, please like and subscribe to YouTube channel. So let's begin with today's job date. So the first one that is coming from the Copeland. So Copeland is hiring for the embedded software development and the salary here you're gonna expect in between a five to ten LPA and it may vary depending on your skills and an experience. Talking about the job location, it is going to be a hybrid model and the location is going to be Pune. So it means you will be working from home plus working from office. So this is a hybrid model and this is posted a six days ago. So try to apply as soon as possible because the application may get closed anytime soon. So let's see who can apply for this particular application. So if you're from BEB Tech or MEM Tech in electronics or electrical, then you guys can easily apply for this particular application. Talking about the skills requirements, so here's some basic embedded skills is required like C programming languages is required and you should also have the knowledge of the microcontrollers like 8-bit, 16-bit or 32-bit and uh, ARM Cortex M, like this is a basic microcontroller or the microprocessor, you can say, or ARM Cortex A. These videos are also available in YouTube channels, so you guys can check it out ARM Cortex M or ARM Cortex A. So these are also available in YouTube. So just search for it and learn from those videos. And apart from this, you also need the knowledge of the digital electronics, analog electronics or the circuit boards or the component data sheet. So these are the basic things what a embedded engineers or what a VLSI engineers or whatever the engineers you want to be in an electronics domain particularly or electrical domain. Other than that, there are some other uh, protocols as well required like wired protocols, UART and I2C or SPI protocols. Okay, so these are the basics and industry standard protocols. It will be plus if you have the knowledge of like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or Zigbee TCP IP okay so these are the skills required particularly for this particular role and if you had this skill set so do not forget to mention in your resume as well as if you have the projects related to this domain then it will be plus for you as well okay so just update your resume and make sure you should include these things in your resume as well okay and if you are interested in this particular application then you guys can directly apply link will be in the description as well as in the comment section from there you guys can easily apply so once you click on the link given the description you will be directed to the official page now here just click on apply you need to just fill out basic details, upload your resume, write your basic details and just at the end, just recheck whether all the information provided by is correct or not. And at last, just submit your application form. Okay, so the application form is very simple to fill. And if you face any difficulties, do let me know in the comment section and I will reply as soon as possible. Okay, so let's move on to our next opportunity. So that is coming from the AMD. They are hiring for the analog design engineer. So basically, this is for the VLSI engineer job and the job location is going to be Bangalore. Here, the salary is, is good. Like uh, if you search in a Google, you will get about 10 to 20 LPA like it's a very good amount if you are looking for a particularly in the analog design engineer role and here already like 100 plus applicants has already applied and this is posted five days ago so try to apply as soon as possible this one also because it may close anytime soon so let's see other things other details like who can apply so for this particular role like master degree is required so okay so if you have a master degree then you guys can easily apply for this application and this is very simple to apply you will get the link in the description from there you guys can easily apply just click on easily apply and fill out the basic details and submit your application form this is one way second way is you can see the pallavi misra is the hiring team right so just message her and uh, what you have to message i will add in the telegram channel so just join our telegram channel from there you guys can easily access that message okay so just send her the message and your resume and make sure to update your resume as per the job requirement whatever the requirement here they have mentioned like cmos is required okay some uh, timing diagram or the very log module so these are the basic things like if you particularly looking for the VLSI thing then you should know these things okay these are the mandatory things like VLSI micro electronics TCL Perl so these are the scripting languages which you should know as well as you should also include this thing in your resume as well. so then only the chances of your resume to get sorted will be higher you need to apply like easy apply plus you should to message to her as well so that on the chance of getting shortlist will be higher and apart from this if you face any difficulties while applying for this job or if you had any other question do let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video till then take care and keep applying for a job all the best bye bye